Okay guys, so how do you fix Safari on your uh, iPhone? So welcome to Foxtech, today we're going to be talking about that and uh, this is a broad topic because there are many issues that could arise with Safari and your specific problem might differ from someone else's. However, I'll cover the most common fixes to help you get your browser back in the working order. First, if your problem is that you can't even find Safari on your device, that's an easy fix. Open up the settings app and navigate to the screen time section and once there, go to the content and privacy restrictions. Then tap on allowed apps and there is a good chance that Safari is turned off, which makes it disappear from your device. Simply switch it back on and Safari should reappear on your home screen. But beyond that, there are many other problems you might encounter with Safari. For instance, some people have reported issues where Safari just doesn't load websites. If you're experiencing this, one effective solution is to ensure that you have the latest WebKit update. WebKit updates are included in iOS updates, so you need to download and install the latest iOS version. To do this, go to the settings, tap on a general and then a software update and download the latest iOS update. This one will often contain fixes that can resolve issues with Safari. To see if Apple has released any patches for security holes in the iOS, you need to check out the security content of each iOS update. There is a specific website that Apple publishes all the time with a new update and they cover pretty much exactly what they fixed. So it is possible that there is something regarding Safari which is not covered in the basic update description. However, if of course, updating doesn't solve the problem. Another common solution is to clear your browser cache and reset your network settings. These steps often resolve loading issues. To clear the cache, go to the settings and the Safari section, and there is a blue button saying clear history and website data. To reset network settings, you still are in the settings, but go to the general section, tap on reset and choose the network settings there. And this will reset your Wi-Fi networks and passwords, cellular settings and VPNs and stuff like that. So keep it in mind. Sometimes the problem might not be with Safari itself, but with your internet connection. But to determine it, if this is the case, try using a different web browser like Google Chrome or Firefox. If these browsers work without any issues, then the problem is likely specific to Safari and if they don't work either, the issue might be with your internet connection. Obviously, if none of these solutions work, it might be time to contact your either internet provider or visit Apple Store and have them see what's going on, but chances are that these things are going to help you out. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and videos like this one. Until next time.